All right, so let's quickly go over the tools and supplies you need to convert from copper to PEX. So first of all, you need your PEX piping and you're gonna need a female sweat adapter. This is the fitting that allows you to convert from copper to PEX. Copper goes here, PEX comes off here. So depending on your setup, you may need one of these or two of these. In my case, I only need one because I'm going from copper to PEX. But if you're going from copper to copper and you want to do PEX in between, then you're gonna need two of these, of course. In my case, I need a coupler. This will allow me to go from PEX to PEX. And we need pinch clamps. This is the system that I use. They use these pinch clamps and I have this pinch clamp tool. Gas, in this case, I'm, in this case, I'm just gonna use propane. Propane's not the best, but it will get the job done. It just takes a little bit longer to heat the pipe up and to melt the solder. And of course you need solder. So this is my little soldering kit. So I have flux and I have solder in here and you always wanna clean everything. So I have a lot of sandpaper. Okay, so our first step is to clean the copper. Basically I use this and we clean this to make it basically brand new. If actually I can even clean that a little bit more. So we have our solder. This is just normal solder. You go to Home Depot, buy yourself some solder. And we have flux. This is very important. This coats everything and make sure that the solder flows correctly around the pipe. So just like we clean the pipe, we also clean the fitting. They make special tools for this, but you can just use sandpaper. Everything has to be very, very clean. Do not skip this step. Next important thing about soldering is that you don't want any water. You don't want any water to be in this pipe. I know there's no water in here, but if there was, make sure there's no water. Drain it out, do whatever you need to do, but if there's water in there, your solder will not flow. Next thing we're gonna do is we get our flux and we are going to get our brush and we are going to put flux on the pipe and we're gonna put it inside the fitting as well. We don't wanna get crazy with this, just a light coating. Then we take our coupler, we slide it over, make sure it's all the way on, give it a little twist. What that'll do is make sure that all the flux gets all over. Then I put everything back in my soldering bag. All right, so now you can see I have my, my solder pulled out at a good distance, kind of have it bent in a way where I can get to the top and I can get to the bottom, okay? We are gonna heat this up on the actual fitting. We want the heat to be where we want the solder to go because the heat will actually pull the solder in. So in this case, we're going to heat the actual fitting itself, not the pipe. And by heating the bottom, it's actually heating the top as well. And we're gonna test this. And as soon as it pulls it in the bottom, then we can go around the entire joint Good, we're gonna wipe all the excess flux off of the fittings, off the copper. Now we have a good connection, okay? Now we're gonna let that cool down before we put any PEX onto it. But in the meantime, I'm actually gonna drain all the lines in the house so we can make the final connection. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the pipe. I got this bucket down here to catch any water because there will probably be some water in the line. They make this nice PEX, PEX cutter. Um, all the tools, I'll put a link to them down below so you guys can pick them all up. Even a link to my new handy dandy knife. But the nice thing about PEC is if there's water in the line, even like a little bit of water like this, you can still work with it. With copper, you would not be able to solder. Since I'm going PEX to PEX to copper, I need this, this coupler right here, okay? Clamp on first, then we'll put our coupler on. So now that's our coupler. Now we need to cut a piece of PEX that goes from here to there. Now we put our clamp, boom it up here just to show you. So this is the same procedure in all the pieces. So we got our clamp here. You can see how that's together there. You really can't mess it up with these. You basically put it on there. We're gonna squeeze this together and we're gonna keep going until it stops clicking actually. And it's done. That's water tight. Now he's got to rinse and repeat on the next two down here. All right. I don't see any leaks. Please hit that subscribe button. But I'm Mike, found me DIY TV, and I'm out.